Hey Cancer, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So, <clears throat> Cancer, you are starting the week with the overall energy of King of Pentacles. Okay. So I do feel a lot of you could be making a lot of money. You guys could be getting like very, very stable, financially stable, secure in your business, in your uh, work, in your job. Okay. More than job, I feel there could be a business that you're getting settled in. It, otherwise, you could be very, very financially independent. You could be working towards your financial stability, you know, like literally reaching a milestone. For the others of you, there could be an offer, okay, that someone wants to make towards you. Let's see. This offer is something very stable. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Um, okay. So I feel there has been an ending out here. And there has been an ending and a new beginning out here. For a lot of you, I feel there's a huge transformation going on. Someone sees you as marriage material cancer. Someone is coming towards you wanting growth, wanting expansion. You know, they see you as a marriage material. They want to commit towards you. And this person is the same person that you had an ending with. I feel there's a huge transformation in this person out here. However, I do feel for a few of you, there could be resistance from your side. I mean, like they say, right, an ex is an ex for a reason. So I do feel for a lot of you, there could be an old person coming towards you who now wants everything that they want, that you wanted from them. But this is going to be met with a lot of resistance from your side. Okay. So this offer that's coming in, it's probably too good to be real for a lot of you. Okay. And you just don't expect this person to come back. We'll get back to this in a bit. <clears throat> in the past, we have the five of cups. So there was disappointment. There was a breakup, probably a temporary loss, financial loss. For the others of you, you had to walk away from someone. Yeah. I think for a lot of you, there was an established relationship in the past. Okay. Maybe you both wanted commitment or both of y'all were committed. Okay. At least the relationship was so strong. I feel there was someone out here who kept coming back towards you. Okay. But there could be a third party situation because of which you guys, you know, uh, you, you, you left. But there was a loss out here, all right? And I think with the Three of Cups and Reverse here, um, I feel there was a third-party interference here, okay? Someone could have had you in a third-party situation, okay? But uh, even though the relationship was too strong, there could be gossip, okay? Or there could just be someone out here who probably just messed up, okay, the situation by listening to other people's opinions. But there was a lot of disappointment in the past overall, okay? Even though I do feel that someone came back towards you, okay? Someone who walked away from you did come back towards you, but it was still very disappointing. Now, in the current situation, we have the Ace of Wands with the Fool. So, I feel a lot of you guys are ready to move towards something new, okay? You guys are ready to take a risk and moving towards something brand new. This could be a new job, a new relationship, but because we're talking about love, I'm going to focus on love. So, I feel a lot of you could be having a potential of starting something new with someone new or yeah, Ace of Wands, please. Okay, for the Ace of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune wanted to come out, but didn't make it. Ace of Wands. <coughs> yeah, you're cutting cords with someone out here. Okay, this could be someone out here who's emotionally unavailable. All right. And I feel this was something that was stressing you out. I feel you're distracting yourself. Some of you could be starting a new job, but you did cut cords with someone. Okay. Something ended badly and I feel you released someone, but I'm still going to continue because that was too many cards. Yes, of course. Yeah. A lot of you are picking a new direction is what I'm getting. Okay. All this while I feel most of you wanted to stay to your safer zone. Okay. You were sticking to your comfort zone. You still hadn't shut the door on the ex or on the past person out here who things didn't work out with in the past but now you guys are getting fed up of tired and waiting for things to move towards you or things to move in your favor or for this person to take action i feel you're like giving up giving up <coughs> no long long no longer wanting to hold on you're just choosing to move towards someone new okay or just choosing to leave this person shut the door on them forever Clive for the fool because I do see you taking a risk, taking a leap of faith after ending out here and starting br brand new, like from scratch. Okay. 
<clears throat> you may be a little conflicted in your head okay because the fool is the challenge out here you may be a little conflicted in your head however on your mind is stability security on your mind is to be very pragmatic to be very very uh, i'd say very practical okay about dealing matters in love you know that something clearly ended out here okay however you could be you, you're very close to jumping into something new or very close to ending this chapter with this person however a part of you is still a little wee bit conflicted okay a wee bit conflicted like should i should i not because i think right now you're ready you're ready you've almost let this go but the influence out here or the blockage out here is that even though things have ended, even though this is what you wanted, you wanted this stability from this person, you wanted commitment with this person, there is a part of you that is still going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Should I? Should I not? Um, you know, it's like asking yourself a lot of questions. You know, you want like a short, short um, answer or at least an agenda before you move towards someone else or move towards something new. It's like... Is it going to be something brand new? Is this is it going? To, is this person going to give me everything that I deserve? Should I wait for the past person? You know, but I do feel a lot of you have literally kind of closed the show on this person's face. You're just almost there. What's crowning the situation? <coughs> it's the four of swords. So I do feel there's no communication, and right now I feel that a lot of you don't want to really jump in and make any decisions regarding love or career or finance. Okay, I think you want to take a break. You're trying to heal. There's a lot of healing. I'm going. I'm seeing. Yeah, uh, I feel uh, <coughs> you are trying to stay balanced. But not trying to stay balanced by making a decision, okay? For some of you, yes. For the others of you, I feel you could be uh, dropping one thing, okay? Now, if you were in two minds, then you're dropping it, okay? So, this is what's in your conscious mind. Consciously, you genuinely, genuinely want to, like, move forward. But the reason you may not be able to make a decision is probably because uh, you just want to stay balanced. But you know what? I'm getting this as more as your person. You know, your person is not talking to you. They want to reconcile with you. Maybe if they had a choice between two people, they made up their mind, they want you. But they're still not facing the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is to come towards you, to communicate with you. I feel they're still staying very closed off when it comes to communication. And you, on the other hand here, are fed up of waiting for this person. Yeah, that's what it is. This person out here is wanting to move forward, okay, towards you. Not move on. They want to move forward towards you. They made up their mind, okay, there was a decision that was supposed to be made. They made that decision. However, the only reason they're closed off is maybe because they don't want to face confrontation out here. They feel that if they don't say anything, they'll be safe, you know. You know that sense of safety where they'll feel safe, you know. They, they feel like, okay, I haven't made a decision, so I'm still safe. I'm not saying a complete no, I'm not saying a complete yes. The other part of them is like, what if I confront cancer, you know, and what if things go wrong? Then they bear the consequences, right? So they're still trying to stay safe right now, which is why there's no communication from this person or there is no decision from this person which has been communicated towards you. They've made up their mind, but I feel they haven't told you this. Yeah. <clears throat> Fly for the five of swords. This is why the read is going down. Why is the five of swords here? See, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. There is a new beginning here. You guys, there is a potential out here of a commitment, okay? Someone wants you, wants to communicate with you and desperately communicate with you. The only reason there's sabotage is because this person is thinking. Four of swords, four of swords. They're thinking, 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 thinking. They need time. They're detached. They don't want to involve themselves right now. They just want time. You know, I feel this person out here is just trying to not stay stressed, you know? They're trying their best to not, uh, you know how sometimes we're better off not confronting a situation and putting ourselves in an uncomfortable position, you know, rather than opening up the can of worms and, you know, like, oh my God, like, so the outcome is there once and for all. They're too scared of the outcome is what I'm getting. They're too scared of the outcome, which is why they refuse to talk. The four of swords is the meditative energy. It's the, it, it, probably they're on a holiday or they're, they're just wanting to stay detached overall, okay? But in that detached uh, situation they're doing harm to your connection because they're indirectly sabotaging the connection right they're pushing away what they want and it's forcing you to walk away you know 
you're you're on the verge of walking away and some of you already have they want a new beginning with you they want to start from scratch but in a way where they can offer you something more secure and more tangible and they want to communicate so for the ones of you if this person isn't communicating they're dying to communicate with you they're desperate to communicate with you but a part of them holds them back because they just feel no a little more time i need a little more time i need a little more time okay and they land up doing nothing about it and which probably forces you to walk away you know waiting for them <clears throat> And the future is, wow, six of pentacles. Like I said, there is a balance coming in. There is an equal give and take coming in. What's the six of pentacles? Either this is someone new coming in to balance the situation and they promise you an equal give and take. They promise you reciprocity. The amount of time, energy, effort, resources that you have put in, they, they promise you to give in the same. Or this is your old person coming back. I feel this is an old person coming back, okay, who wants to give this all to you. But it will be met with resistance is what I'm getting. What's the Six of Pentacles? That's what's happening. That's what's happening. This person takes action towards you eventually. They do, but because you are so negative about the entire connection out here, you don't want to take a risk. See, that's what I was saying, right? You have a choice here, Cancer. Either you take a risk in the future with this person, with the ex coming back or the old person coming back. This is someone out here, you don't want to take a risk. One other reason I'm getting out here is because this person could be very inconsistent, okay? They're in and out, in and out, in and out of your life, okay? One day they're like sweeping you off your feet, the next day they're gone. So you're constantly questioning yourself, are we together? Where is, this, where is this headed you know what's the future of the connection for the others of you i feel that you don't want to be vulnerable and you're too 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 focused on the sad uh, on the negative aspect of the relationship about why it didn't work out you're only seeing that the glass is half empty and you're not being able to see that the glass is half full so even though there is an opportunity where this person out here comes in to balance the situation with you you don't want to take a risk okay because i feel a lot of you are like i don't want to be a fool again so like I said, either you take a risk in the future with this ex person, with the old person out here, could be a new person also. For the others of you, right now you take a risk and keep moving forward. Okay. Because this is ought to happen. This is the potential future, right? So this ought to happen. They're coming in. Okay. So it's up to you because the blockage out here is the fool. And at the future also with the fool in reverse, I feel there's still a lack of risk taking, which I feel this is you okay in the future like i said in the overall energy someone out here is wanting to give you an offer okay very committed offer this is someone could be older to you okay this could be a married person out here okay uh <clears throat> but someone out here who clearly wants to make it happen with you okay and they see growth with you they're very attracted towards you why because you stop giving a shit all right this person out here now there's been a huge transition in this person's life they've transformed themselves transformed their uh, patterns their negative patterns etc and they're coming towards you however like i said in the beginning there is resistance that is met from you okay now let's take some love messages from your person love messages for cancer from their person I was holding too tight and it was too painful. You are my shining star. You come in my dreams and leave me messages not to let go. Yeah, because you too don't want to let go, right? Now, this is just for the ones who don't want to let go. Please don't put it in the comments below. Oh, that person can go to hell and they can kick rocks, etc. If Then don't even watch the, 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 the video, right? Because the title will tell you a lot about who we are talking about. Messages for cancer. Good time ahead. Keep your hopes high and give your best shot. Exactly. Okay, cancer. Think of a question and the angels will answer it. Angels will answer it for you. Angels answer the question that cancer has in mind. Answer the question that cancer has in mind. It says look for a sign. So 
whatever you've been asking for, look for a sign. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.